and yeah, um, yeah, yeah, every, every day. I mean, like. He knew. He <laughs> Japanese. <coughs> Delicious. I mean, certainly, the, certainly the guitar absolutely changed my life in a, in a way. I mean, when when I bought, finally bought my first Telecaster. And everything. I, I never, I never had any, any dream of being a mm. being a professional musician. I did, I had no idea, mm. you know. And um, but it was simply because because I because I'd got that mm. guitar and I'd le I'd learn I'd learned some things mm. from Mick Green mm. and 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 I was lucky enough mm. to meet Lee Brillo mm. and all these accidents. Mm. Led me, led me into a life, mm. and I, which I've got to say that I'm very, very mm. glad I followed this life. Mm. I mean, uh, now that now that my life has ended, mm. but, but I've got, I've, I, I don't regret anything. Mm. Uh, you know, I, I feel very, very. Uh, I've been very mm. so lucky. Mm. Had such a good time. Met so many good people. So this guitar. Mm. Thank you, guitar. <laughs> <laughs> what is a guitar? <laughs> it's a machine gun. <laughs> uh, hello, uh, uh, I'm I'm Wilco Johnson. And and this is my Telecaster, yeah. and and I hope I can explain to you uh, some. My technique is very simple, and I hope to ex explain it to you now. My technique is is based on that of the the famous uh, Mick Green, of uh, Johnny Kidd and the Pirates, and the first time I heard Mick Green, I th I flipped. I thought, man, this is the way to play the guitar. The way Mick Green played the guitar was with rhythm, it's based on rhythm, and particularly with uh, what we call stab, right? Short, short, like, like that. Stab, not like that, but like that, right? And uh, is that too loud? Because uh, I don't care, right? <laughs> I started trying to learn this technique, and I couldn't learn to play like Mick Green because he was brilliant, right? And and I'm not so brilliant. But I can show you a, 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 a basic method of the way I play. Now then, if, uh, if we'll start off with, our, with this basic thing, right? And I'm going to show you something. And it's in the key of G. And this is the way I make the chord of G. There it is, right? Now, many people make this chord like this, a very familiar chord, right? G. But I do it like this. I do it like this, which is there, there, and there. That's the, that's the top three. The top three. Now, this fifth string is actually dead. I'm, I'm stopping it with this third finger. So what we got, and the sixth string, I put my thumb over the top. So you've got the thumb, there's the thumb and the and the top, so it's like this. There's your chord of G. Now the important thing about making the chord like this is you can stop the chord whenever you like. If you simply lift your fingers from the fretboard, uh, the chord was like this. You see? You may, so you can make a stab, we call it stab. Like that, right? Now then, if you if you lift all your fingers from off off the fretboard, all the strings are dead. Like that, right? And if you press them down, you get a chord. If you press them down and immediately stop them, you get a stab. 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 Like that. Right? Okay. Having understood this. We're now, now we're going to turn to 
the right hand, right? Now, the, you, you may notice that I, I, I do not use a, a pick. I don't use a plectrum, but that doesn't matter. That's just rubbish, right? Mick Green used a plectrum, and in fact, this, this, with this technique, you, you can use a plectrum, right? I, I, I don't I don't use a plectrum. I won't bore you with the story, but basically, you see, I have a red scratch plate here so that the men won't see the blood, right? And the, which the, the blood that flows. Anyway, we've got our we've got our chord of G, and we're holding we're holding the uh, our fingers off the key off the fretboard so that we've got a dead sound, dead, right? Now, I want to show you what this right hand is doing. This is very, very simple, and you, and you must learn this. And, and uh, it, it's like this. It goes down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, like this. Right? So I've got, this, uh, I've got a rhythm going there, simply with a dead string, and, and down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Now then. If I press my fingers down onto the fretboard while I'm doing this, I can get stabs in the middle of it, like this. I can, I can have a stab wherever I like. Yeah, they're going down. All the time, the right hand is going down, up, down, up. It does not change, does not change, like that. All the, all the time, all the time, all the time, right? And the work has been done with the left hand. I can make any rhythm simply by all the time the right hand down, up, down, up, down. Does not change, does not change, right? And and I can vary the uh, what I'm playing simply by whether I'm pressing down the left hand onto the frets. Oh, what, say, like this. That's one rhythm. Oh, another rhythm, go, go. Right, like that. And, and, uh, and, and furthermore, you can, you can even uh, finger lick, licks, right? Like that. Am I in the right place? Okay. Hello. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, where was I? Yes. Right? So, we got this thing. I'm going to tell you again. Right? I'm going to tell you again. Right hand. All the time. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down. I know. And, and, I, and I can insert any rhythms I like simply by pressing down onto the fretboard with my left hand and releasing it like so you get stabs now you 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 can use this uh this this thing to to to, to make all sorts of stuff you you can you can do it i mean you can have a little uh for instance a, a little riff. Let's have a New Orleans type of riff, right? A New Orleans type of piano riff, which is this. Uh, which is which is like which is like the left hand on a piano. Da 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 da. Right? You can do it like this. Right hand all the time. Down up down up right. And then I just start fingering with my with my third finger. Like that, right? So I get, I get this. And then, if if you wanna, if you you, you, you can do this, a basic rhythm, right? I'll go for a whole twelve bars for you. And that's the kind of guy I am, right? Go. I'm going to change chords, right? I'm going to change to C. I'm going to make a C like this. Doink, 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 like that, like that. Like this, so I'm going to go. Back to G. And then D. 
can do who I'm doing there. Oh, yeah. And then, and then, and then and you can, uh, this is mad, this thing, right? Because you can even play solos and things like, remember all the time, the right hand, down, up, down, up, down, up. Don't change it, right? You go, you go, you go. Uh, here we go. Solo, right? Keep right hand all the time. Down, up, down, up, down. Let's go. All the time, this one's just going like this. I'll tell you a little secret now. I mean, most of my most of my songs have been written. Sorry about that. Using using this ludicrously simple technique. Always remember, right hand down. Now, when you get more sophisticated, like Mick Green, you 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 can vary you can vary the rhythm with the right hand. All the time it's chopping, but you can you can have. But that's just for show offs, right? This is a, a this is the simple th the simple message I want to bring to the world is keep the right hand going down and up, and do all the work with the left hand, and you can get and you can get all of my songs, man. Listen to this, right? Same thing, down up, down and go. Same thing. Hey, down, up, down, up, down. Do all the work with the right hand. What more can I say? Is that it? <laughs> That's the way I do it. Keep doing it.